some people here that have been on the internet. We've seen a few videos. We've watched a few gaming videos here. Uh, I, saying, I don't watch any of the so gaming I'm curious, bullshit. I'm just curious. I, I've played you know, the Nintendo the before. Past, think about the past when kids wanted to be astronauts, firemen, uh, race cars, all that kind of shit. But now, race wars. You, you know for a fact. <laughs> race, <laughs> You know, this is where still race wars. Like, Maybe no, it's no, no, if you're white, now, black, I do now they want to be vloggers, so like, let's right. play. I am genuinely curious. Now, first of all, this came from a discussion about whether or not on like the, the occupation day, kids are talking about wanting to grow up to be Twitch players that's, or let's play. Yes. yes! Now hold on, we know yeah. that's a fact. Apparently I've heard that that is something that kids that will stand up yeah. in a classroom of other kids and they will proudly announce that they want to grow up to be a Twitch or let's play. Yeah, but that's joy! But, but, what I'm curious about is when <laughs> one of these major <laughs> let's uh, players or somebody tries to cash in on that and starts the first let's player university <gasps> where people sign up and they take classes <laughs> on genius. how to make their thumbnails. What O faces and what scary well, faces they need to, Mick. to make. I, I they, swear they have that no, is going to happen. No, it's, it's not, not going to happen. It's not, let's make a lot of money. Mick, it's not going to happen. Wait, can I tell you why that's not going to happen? Is because that, There's already like, Minecraft High School. You fuck no, yeah, <laughs> like no, but what anyone, else do you look, need? Look, anyone, right. <laughs> anyone who's a let's player don't want competition, so they're not going to teach you how to do let's, it. Let's, that's let's, not the reason. No, that's the reason is because it's it has like five years left tops. It's like vlogging. Vlogging is still yeah. around, but remember what? But fucking, the bubble's gone. You're saying. To be fair though, remember vloggers never made Franco, as much money as this shit. Yeah. John, did can the, I use the Franco? I just Steve. Man, they're still making Johnson. big money. I'm, I'm, no, no, they're doing fine. But Philly D was never a vlogger though. But he was fan on like if you use if you use like just say games as a medium for comedy or something to get into like comedy or like or reviewing or something like that that's a good thing if you get a good if you get a good following uh for what you want like whether it be let's plays whether it be whatever that's a good Look, way into let, me, let me just say real quick yeah what you were saying about or what you were saying about that it, it, i don't think it speaks to the format itself it speaks no. to the people reaching other people yeah part. it speaks it speaks yeah. to the other thing too i think exactly the biggest, what the, i was the trying biggest, to say just more eloquently the biggest yeah. thing the, the mediums are not the problem here it's not it's not the let's play that's the problem it really isn't it's the it's the mentality of this is an occupation that's going to be around forever, and this is permanent. Mm -hmm. That's that's the problem, and that's what that that extends across all mediums on YouTube that had their five minutes of fame. Right, like yeah. vlogging, like I said. This one's had an extended play. five minutes. It'll 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 it'll, it'll pass eventually. Well, it's got a few. But extra my point is, my point is, there's nothing inherently in wrong with those. Stuff. There's nothing inherently wrong with with doing those things. It's the you fact that these people get to those positions to go, oh. I don't have to think of it in my future. This yeah. is, I'll yeah. just do this until you, you, you want to know what really, you you know what really bumps me out about it? And I don't know if I'm just being like a total like hipster about it. So. But when I started with Game Grumps, uh, and Let's Plays were already pretty big when we started. When I started with it, we, we, we were kind of like, I mean, I'm not going to say the first because we weren't the first, but like, we were playing like these old retro games from our past, and it was just like real. You were definitely one of the first, though, like yeah. 2011, 2012. Uh, yeah, it was 2012. Well, you, I, remember, I remember specifically, I, I, I admired that specifically because yeah. all the things with that time were like, Multiplayer reacts to five minutes of uh, He wasn't no, around no, yet. He wasn't relevant. My, my point is, all of it was that kind of stuff. It was yeah. that caliber. Uh, honestly, PewDiePie reacts to. Uh, honestly, to when Happy you guys Meals. when you guys came out, there was only one other rivaling group, and that was two best friends. And they're good. Yeah. They're good guys. They seem yeah. to be funny. But it was like that but, was but, the only other one. But, but, and people but like, compared you well, guys. Well, to well, two well, best well, I mean, we were playing these games, and then like um, I felt like it was like really like trying to share my past experience with these games, but then it just got so like. Every day, this is it. This is, and it's like okay. It's well, a job it's, rather than it's like just like. Playing. Well, it's just like okay. Then you're just gonna exhaust this eventually. Right. Maybe so not. Then, I don't know. Even if even if there isn't a university, do you see after the bubble pops? <laughs> after the bubble pops, do you Trump see university couldn't make it? There's no way. Fine. Fine. So after the bubble it. pops, do you? This fucking McDonald's university. Previous let's hamburger. play yeah, fame hamburger university. To then have those <laughs> like the uh, hotel <laughs> conference room. Um, kind of like uh, seminars to try to rope in like no, the, not the at all. Upcoming people. Those people. There's not going to be a Hitler. There's not going to be a Hitler Youth for PewDiePie. No, That's what no. Those people will take their. Their those people take their let's play. You're not. You're not gonna to have a room. Genre. You're not gonna have a room where you brush your pink mustache. They ain't having it. Anytime. What do you think no. of the YouTube genre of Jontron videos that aren't you ripping you off? Yeah, what's up with that? God, what are you saying? What's up with that? Honestly, let me say, okay, 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 say, let me say about Jontron. Jontron, it, it's weird because it's like that anger video game nerd. Yeah, format. but it has a style. It's not. It has your editing. I'm just saying, you know, that's like every video. He was the pioneer. Yellow text with the no. It's that every. It's that crazy. Editing where it's like, no, you can keep it. Like Here, I'll say this. Here's something strange about that. 
it's like I, I I did that yellow tick stuff a lot, and then when I started seeing it more often, I was just like, I feel like I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. No. It's not. It's bullshit. It's I like, don't know what to say other than I don't know. That's what happens when something. You, you know, are what you are. You eat what you eat. <sighs> I was gonna say that happens to Chris. Sometimes when we do a gag or a joke or something, and then yeah. other people do it a lot, and we're like, "Oh, we can't do it anymore." Yeah, I feel like I can't do it anymore. It's really a weird feeling. It's almost a, it's a good but bad. No, feeling. it's bad. Okay, yeah, like when you make dank memes, Zach, <laughs> hot spice, or John, or, or when you say oh, stuff like uh, <laughs> water people, water people, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> that's that's it. Sometimes I feel like even I'm like exhausting and I'm like, I wonder if people even want to see this anymore. No. I'm curious, because this happens people to you. Do. This isn't really, you know, but, but I'm curious to ask about this. Because I've been around you when this happened before. It happened today, actually. What, what is your opinion? How do you feel really, realistically about people stopping you? Stopping it's, me? I, well, I just, don't mind it. If people are genuinely like, oh my god, I really want to talk to this person, like, referring to me. Right. I remember one time specifically, I remember you even commented on it because we were at a coffee shop. And someone goes like, hey, man, I loved your video. And he walked out. That was the whole thing. I was like, oh, you That's good. Like, like, oh, that, that was yeah. a cool interaction. Yeah, I'll, I'll, give it, I'll give it a little anecdote. Was when we were with John. John was just standing there. And this guy comes up and goes, grabs John by the fucking neck. And yeah. goes, are you John? And John was like, yeah. And then John was being really courteous and nice to this guy. And he was like, yeah, you got a picture and all this. But this guy was like, like literally just grabbed a human being by the fucking yeah. neck. Well, it's by not, the neck, It's dude. not just that. The thing it's is also, the he did say something like he insulted you, which was like... They insulted Niall? Oh, they, they, he did insult me. That This guy, uh, what? John said something like, uh, oh, he's a uh, Brad Pitt, as a joke. And then this guy goes, you're looking horrible for being Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah, and that's I go, right. And I was like, well, Niall could only look down. You're yeah, like, we're gonna fuck up. Something really similar happened to me when I was when Aaron was in Ireland with me. He noticed this all in a group. It was me, Aaron, Susie, Barry, and then... Yeah, and me too. Oh, and you. I, and, I remember and that, the, yeah. The kid just runs up to me and fucking grabs yeah. me like a bear. And I was I just like, it. what the fuck? Also, and, we and he was were, like, big fan, and you ran away. And I was just like... Also, that day we were... I thought we went, he robbed me or something. Yeah. We went to McDonald's. <laughs> we went to Jason's McDonald's dude. that day, <laughs> and the, the guy who worked at McDonald's was cleaning his tray, and he dropped his tray when he saw Aaron. Oh, yeah. And then he came over to us with, like, a piece of paper, and he goes... Or with a napkin, oh, he goes, like, can you sign this? And he asked, like, me to sign it, and I was like, hey, I'm signing an autograph. You didn't know who you were. just... You know what? <laughs> I, I was nobody. No, I, was like, I, I have something to say about this. I think it's a product of the times. I think anybody who grew up in our generation would... Maybe they would. I don't know. Or at least some, some people in our generation, but the one previous, would never do that shit where they run I up couldn't. and hug you. I, I yeah. When I first met, like, Real Big Fish, because I met him. Really? Like, I, I, I met, you know, this is before I made the music video for oh, them. Really? So if I was to be like, hey, I made that music video, they probably know who I was. I don't yeah, know. they do made know. A music that probably, that probably makes me sound arrogant. But they follow me on Twitter like, because they know you. Anyways, <laughs> I, 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 I came up to them. He was going to his car with his girlfriend in his hand. And, you know, people were stopping him prior, and I went up to him, and I couldn't say anything. I was just like, oh, I was a big fan. And I was like, oh, he's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, and he's like, oh. And then he left, because I couldn't say anything. I think but it's nature, like... Your, I think the nature of fandom has changed so much, because the yeah. nature of celebrity has changed. Before, but, no, bands and celebrities, but, they were such a distant thing. Mm -hmm. There were things you saw on TV or listened on the radio, but nowadays, with, like, YouTube and cartoons... You feel like you're closer. Facebook or You feel Twitter, like you're closer to them. No, they do. The fans absolutely exactly. feel like they are... Like in, in some cases that they're your friends and yeah. realistic, you. realistic. And so I think that that becomes well, YouTube, part of the narrative. YouTube People, makes it. You're, you know, the strength of YouTube is that they, you do seem like I, I, used, I used to see comments on gamers that would be like, you know, people you know people will listen to you guys and pretend they're your friends. Yeah, they think... That's yeah, the thing, they yeah, think but I think I think going back to, like, the... Not to cut you up, but I was going to no, say it before, but the thing about, like, you know, the, the, new, the new kind of wave of people not understanding social bounds and kind of grabbing you, I think that's also just a natural byproduct of people being online. Sure. You know, that does attract a little bit bigger of a more socially kind of... Yeah. Inept to some degree, I guess. to some degree, socially inept, you know, because I mean, people for the most part who use who consume a lot of content generally get wrapped up in stuff to that degree, like obsessive. At least a portion of that is going to be a little I bit also, obsessive. Yeah, but I that, also do really think that there's like I'm not this, saying it's everybody, but I'm saying, I'm saying at least a portion of people you're bound to some people like that. I also do are, think, I also do think there's like this this buddy factor too. Like, the more they well, listen to you, ones, yeah. yeah, the more they listen to you, the more comfortable, the more stuff you reveal about yourself, the more comfortable they are around you. Sure. The more they'll listen to you outside of what you do and look into more of your stuff and see you. Yeah, but yeah, that, and then when you meet up, they will be like, 
and I, I honestly prefer that. Yeah. I would completely fucking love, and, and when I was at MAGFest last time, I ran into a ton of people who were just really cool, but it's like, I'm way more terrified of someone who's just like, terrified to be near me. Like, if they're afraid to talk to me, then it's just like, that makes me uncomfortable. But at the same time, not, no matter not, how close I am to certain people, it's mm -hmm. not like I just randomly see you and just run up to you and give you a hug. You or, need to know well, some I, 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 I think it should also be noted that the people who, who, you know, think of you as their close friends, they're not mutually exclusive with people who are socially inept. It just happens to be. Absolutely. It just happens to be some people yes. who happen to be socially people. Yeah. Huh? To answer your question, well, it doesn't bother me at all. Like the the whole fandom thing until they fucking break a fucking like social physical boundary, boundary or yeah. social yeah. boundary. If you if you acknowledge that I'm trying to have a flow with my day and I don't want to stop in, it, and, and fucking maybe I'm on my way to something. I was gonna say one of the lies for you is if you're sitting on the eatings, if you're on the if you're hurting, that's the one that pisses me off. I'm fucking eating. Oh, and somebody talks to yeah. me. Yeah. It's like, dude, I'm fucking eating. Eating is the worst. Apparently, and there are times I, I feel like if you get if you run into people and you're in a mood, like sometimes like you know stamp or whatever. Yeah, I'm a we person. Have, like, this phone call line or whatever. It's like. We're opening up the line right now. Like, when we're walking and someone's like, Oh my god, I'm so... And it's like, hey, you know what? I'm walking somewhere. You you want to talk? Yeah, let's just cross the street. What, what do you have to say? You know what I mean? Like, you invited in. Let's have this conversation. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. But if they're literally stopping the shit, that's when it fucking... If they is. stop it, yeah. Because you wouldn't do that to anybody else. I, well, I also... You know? I also... I don't know if... I don't know if our positions are specifically because, you know, our experience. But, like, if I saw somebody like... Like, if I saw, like, Larry David or something... I would rip and stop and be like, I'd be like, dude, I just saw. I'd tell somebody else I saw the other day. Yeah, I wouldn't I would, stop him. I would never approach him because then it immediately. I feel like it just it it. But again, that's probably because we have the full context of. Oh, by the way, by the way, I have a I have a I, I have a theory about it. It's everybody's first time. Everybody right. who meets yes. you, it's their first time, yes. and then I after think so. after yeah. that, they reflect and go, I should never do that again. Well, I yeah. I know because. Yeah. But we still get it. Every <laughs> I, I know all of us have had so much experience where we met somebody we looked up to at least slightly. And we're like, did, did I fuck up? I did it once. Am I an idiot? Yeah. I did it once. I did it to John Krasinski. I ran into him at the LACMA Museum in L.A. And I, it was a long time ago. I was like 15 or 16. What happened? And uh, I just said hi to him. And I afterwards I went. I shouldn't have said hi to him. <laughs> You know, that's that's really yeah. weird. It was exactly what happened. All these other people. Yeah. I, I see a lot of uh, situations yeah. where moms egg their kids on to do that. <laughs> what? Where the kid will be like, "Go talk to him." Go to, yeah, oh yeah. Go, go talk to him. Go deal with Billy. Did that like, happen to Ethan at the subway a few weeks ago? I'm not sure. We were, we were on the subway and somebody approached Ethan. I don't remember. H three H three. H three H three. Is it he here? H three H three. We've had this debate. It's uh, he. It's H three. Well, he calls himself H three. I mean, it's H three. He calls himself H three H three. But but it stands for he he. It's H three H three. Nikki, you fucking know it. No, well, hold on. No, no, no. It's he he. No, it's he he. But everybody calls it H three H three. So does he. He calls himself H three. Because everybody calls it H three H three. Exactly. What's it? What's it an anagram for? Fucking ham. By the way, I think he's hot three and amazing and would. He is. He's a wonderful. He could be the podcast. Dude, we should ask him. Well, Ethan's. Zach, I, he, he was gonna come today. Was, was he really? Yeah, but he douched out. Oh my god! Ethan, if you listen to me, fuck you. You don't need to come on. 